Welcome back, folks, and thanks for sticking with us on this Sunday morning. I hope you all are enjoying your weekend. Well, joining us now, we are talking about the National Federation of the Blind. Now, October is Meet the Blind Month, and yes, we are yeah. joined by Macarena Pena, the president of the RGV chapter. Thank you so much for coming in today. No, thank you so much for having me. I'm very, very excited to be here. Thank you so much for this wonderful opportunity. So tell me a little bit about the National Federation of the Blind, and uh, you are the president of the RGV chapter. Yes, so ma'am. When did you kind of decide to create that here? Well, here we started in 2010, mm -hmm. although the organization is the oldest and largest organization of blind people mm -hmm. since 1940, wow. and there is about uh, 50,000 members throughout the nation. Uh, in Texas, we have 14 chapters. Wow. We started in 2010, like I said, but before there had been a chapter, but then it kind of died away, but then we, we started in 20, 2010. And when did you, why did you decide to open it up again or to bring it back in 2010? It, was, it started as a club. We were just a bunch of friends. We mm -hmm. call ourselves the White Cane Club. Mm -hmm. And then we decided, it started by one of our, uh, Mr. Jesse Garza from La Jolla. He said, hey, let's do the NFB. I had known the NFB since 2006, uh, and so we adopted the, the, the philosophy and we started growing up. As, as of today, we have approximately 50 members. Wow, and that's yes. all over the, the valley. Yes, wow. yes, 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 but it's, it's grown a lot. We have students, we have our youngest member, he's a, a, a eight years old, our oldest member is like 83. Oh, wow. We have teachers, we have businessmen, we have uh, retired veterans, we have counselors, you mm -hmm. know, anything you can think of, you know, blind is, does not <laughs> understand frontiers. Yeah, <laughs> so tell me uh, about the National Federation of the Blind and what you all do or aim for, what the goal is. Well, we're always um, trying to, to reach out to everybody. Mm -hmm. Of course, we want to reach out to the blind people, letting them know that with the proper training, with the tools, the technology available, a blind person can reach their goals. Mm -hmm. We also want to reach out to the families because of the Hispanic culture that we have. Mm -hmm. You know, we, you want to take care of your family mm -hmm. member and, and if you let them, they're going to let you be a couch, you know, a sofa in, yeah. in your house. So we want to reach out to them, again, educating them. And we also want to educate the educators, mm -hmm. the employers, the community, you know, because city officials, because everybody needs to be aware that blindness is just a characteristic, mm -hmm. that blind people can be productive, successful, yes. go to school, mm -hmm. get jobs, everything. Mm -hmm. So that's great that you decided to bring this chapter or to create this chapter once again down here in the Valley. And you said 50 members, which is fantastic. Yes. And it's a great place for people to come together and ask those questions and get the education like you mentioned and yes. to kind of feel like they have a support system of and, and just sharing you know just yeah. knowing that there's other people out there like you that they understand mm -hmm. it's a lot of fun we know you it's you learn that being blind is fun and and it just every step you take every bite you take it takes a price mm -hmm. so so mm -hmm. we we kind of want to share that attitude and again we want them to have high expectations for themselves of course of yes. course as they should so do you guys do any events, any fundraising? Yes, I know yes, there yes. is one coming up. Yes, yes, I'm very so excited and I wanna thank the City of Mission. Dr. Armando Caña has been wonderful since the first time he heard this idea. Mm -hmm. He said, I wanna support you all. So we're having White King Day. Okay. Uh, it, this, uh, it's a nationwide celebration which celebrates the cane, mm -hmm. which is the independence and safety for people who are blind. Mm -hmm. So it is happening on October the 27th. Okay. And Mission is going to be from 12 to 3 o'clock. We're having a lot of activities. We're gonna start with a walk. We're inviting the community to put the blindfold mm -hmm. on, to put the cane, to walk with us, and not to show them how scared it is or how mm -hmm. difficult, no. We want to show the community that with the proper training, with the right tools, a blind person can do anything. Wow, that's amazing. And, and then that's great, after yeah. that, we're having a resource fiesta. Mm -hmm. And this resource fiesta, we're having over 35 different resources okay. that are specifically for the blind and visually impaired. So the individuals, they will have the opportunity to do some hands-on on technology. We're having, for example, the guide dogs, dogs of Texas. Mm -hmm. They're coming to talk about the requirements to get a guide dog mm -hmm. because unfortunately there is a lot of lack of knowledge yes. in the valley, you mm -hmm. know, that about guide dogs. Mm -hmm. uh, we're also having, for example, the UT disabilities, the STC. We want 
want the parents, the blind students to know what's out there for them once they get to college. And again, it's educating everybody about what's out there available. Of course, and that is what's most important is the education part to kind of let everybody know there yes. are so many resources available to you and for your family or a loved one or anybody who then who yes. needs it, that there's different things that they can kind of go to or different help that they can get and, and, and there's always something. So I think this is really great and this White Cane Day is going to be October 27th mm -hmm. and so you're definitely, and then afterwards a resource uh, yes, resource fiesta. fiesta. Okay, can I say the address? Yeah, of course. It's at 721 North Bryan. It's okay. at the Mission Recreation Center. Perfect. It is. We're awesome. The venue is excellent. We're so excited. We're having people coming from Austin, coming from um, uh, Houston, uh, from all over uh, to share what they know. We're going to have a showcase of a company, the Hymns uh, Incorporated. They're going to showcase a lot of technology available for the blind that it's like, wow, you know, I'm blind and I'm like, oh my God, I didn't know this existed. Mm -hmm. We're also having like the elections uh, department, mm -hmm. Hidalgo, they're bringing the, the talking voting machines. Okay. And we don't want to educate just the adults, but we want the children, blind of children course. to know, hey, you can be a responsible yeah. citizen. There is no excuse for you to be sitting at home doing nothing. Of course. No, this is fantastic. I think what you're doing is great. And you've Thank been you. doing yes. this since 2010 is when you yes. brought Yes, we, we've always done. Actually, this year, again, the City of Mission has been wonderful. It's always getting bigger and better. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, we're very excited. We're very happy. We're thankful. A lot of the businesses, local businesses and mm -hmm. Mission are partnering with us. And we're going to have games. We're going to invite the community to put the blindfold on and to take some challenges and, and, and have fun. We really want them to understand that, like I said, with the proper training, mm -hmm. the, the discovering, exploring, making mistakes, then how, that's how we learn. Of and course. that's how everybody learns. Exactly, so. that is. So yeah. Macarena, thank you so much for coming in today, folks. If you want to get any more information about the event or uh, with NFB, you can go to nfb.org or you can go ahead and call 956-320-8090 for yes. more information. Thank you, Macarena, again for no, coming in today. So I really much. appreciate it. I hope it. you can join us yes. and put a blindfold on. And yes. Be happy. <laughs> yes, of course. Thank you again. Thank you so much. All right, folks, that's going to wrap it up for us here. I hope you all have a fantastic weekend, and I will see you next Sunday morning.